How's the formula work? And it's really important. And I'm going to take my time through this because this is an aha moment for lots of families. Okay. The three parts of the formula are the cost of attendance of the college. That is, what does the college cost? And every college is called the student budget or the cost of attendance. Every college has four known student budgets. A budget for a student living on campus, a slightly different one for a student living off campus, one for a student living with relatives, and one for a student living at home. And so um, on the slide, uh, fairly generic ideas of a student budget for the public college. It's about $16,000, and some are, as low, are even under $10,000. And some are as high as twenty-five dollars or $26,000, as in UC Berkeley here in California. Private colleges, there are some that are actually uh, pretty low, um, around ten dollars or $12,000, uh, all the way up to about $40,000. And then there's a group of elite colleges, $45,000 and above. I think this year, in uh, the year 2008, 2009, there's probably half a dozen or more colleges that charge, have a student budget of over $50,000 for one year of college. So let's suppose we have a student who's applied to a public college and the student's been accepted. The admissions office at that college will inform the financial aid office the student's been accepted. The financial aid office will then see uh, whether the student's applied for um, financial aid and they find out, yes, the student has. Turns out that this family, making about $60,000, maybe with $100,000 or so in the bank, has an EFC, an expected family contribution of $10,000. But this place costs sixteen, dollars so I'd expect the family to pay ten. dollars This place costs sixteen, dollars so there's a demonstrated need here of $6,000. So it's my job as a financial aid administrator to fill the need between what the family can afford and the cost of the college, which is about $6,000. And everybody's really excited, and about halfway through the main course of dinner that night, the kid gets kind of quiet, and parents say, well, what's wrong? And the kid says, I don't want to seem ungrateful, but I'd rather go to that private college down the road. And the parents say, oh, we can't do that. We can afford the public college. We can't afford that private college. What the parents just admitted was that they don't really understand how the financial aid system works. If you learn nothing else from this workshop, learn this that once the family contribution is calculated for any given year, it remains the same regardless of the cost of college. So if the family contribution is $10,000 for a public college, guess what? It's going to be $10,000 for that expensive private college down the road. The difference, of course, is that this family can now expect the financial aid totaling about $26,000. Well, there must have been something in the main course that made all the lights go on, and uh, everybody's happy again. About halfway through dessert, the kid gets quiet again. Now the parent says, come on, what's, what's wrong now? Because I, I have a confession to make. Ever since I could walk or talk, I wanted to be a prince and tiger. What does the family say? Hey, if you can get in, you can go. Why? Because I know it's going to cost me about $10,000 to go to Princeton. The difference is that we're eligible for much more financial aid at Princeton. So think about this for just one second. For those of you out there who have students that are in junior high or even freshman in high school, Go through this process, find out, using tuition coach tools, find out what your EFC is, and see if that's a number you can live with. If it is, your next sentence should be turning to your student and say, you know what, I can afford any college in the country. There's 2,400 colleges out there. Pick the colleges that really work for you, that, where there's a good fit. And when a kid's happy at a college and the fit is right, and the student feels responsible for picking that college, those students get through in regulation time in four years, and they usually perform very well. This is an important understanding for everybody in the, in the audience.